five, five, four. Engine ignition, two, one, zero. And lift off. The Red Planet has always been under focus by the humans for building a life there. It was once a planet, beautiful and habitable, just like our Earth, and now scientists are searching for the traces of life there. For studying the Red Planet, NASA has sent many rovers that are taking the images and collecting the data. Just recently, NASA's Perseverance rover was completed in one year and NASA revealed some breathtaking images of the planet that we are going to show you today. Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. Join us in today's video to find out about the NASA Perseverance rover's one-year anniversary and the images taken by it. You will also know all about the cameras that took these images and what strange object was found in one of the images. It was a one fine day when NASA Perseverance rover launched from Florida's space coast on July 30th, 2020, hurtling into space atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. Covering its journey toward our nearest neighboring planet, Perseverance touched down inside the red planet's Jezero crater on February 18th, 2021 and just recently, it has completed its one year on Mars. NASA's $2.7 billion Mars 2020 mission is more than just an exploration of the red planet. If all goes well, the life-hunting robot will also help a little bit of Mars make its way to Earth in a decade or so. The car-sized robot is searching for evidence of past microbial life and collecting several dozen samples for future return to Earth, among other ambitious tasks. NASA Acting Administrator Steve Jerziak told Space.com shortly before Perseverance touched down, I don't think we've had a mission that is going to contribute so much to both science and technology. It's going to be truly amazing. Perseverance measures approximately 10 feet long, including its robotic arm, 9 feet wide and 7 feet tall, about 3 meters long, 2.7 meters wide, and 2.2 meters tall. Perseverance weighs less than a compact car at 2,260 pounds or 1,025 kilograms. Perseverance may look familiar because it is based on its predecessor, the Mars Science Laboratory or MSL Curiosity Rover which landed in August 2012 and is still going strong today. Like Curiosity, the Perseverance rover was built by engineers and scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. According to George Tao, NASA's Perseverance program executive, Perseverance's seven instruments built on the success of MSL, which was a proving ground for new technology, these will collect scientific data in ways that were not previously possible. Perseverance, like Curiosity, used the same entry, descent, and landing, or EDL strategy. Both rovers sped into Mars's atmosphere, deployed a supersonic parachute after friction slowed them down enough, and were then gently lowered to the red dirt on cables by a rocket-powered sky crane. Perseverance has nearly five times the number of cameras as the first Mars rover. Perseverance is equipped with 23 cameras. Several of them captured the rover's arrival on Mars in historic and unprecedented detail. According to NASA, the Perseverance rover has several cameras focused on engineering and science tasks. Some help us land on Mars, while others serve as our eyes on the surface to drive around. We use others to do scientific observations and aid in the collection of samples. The epic EDL video, for example, shows Perseverance's parachute opening in the Martian sky and documents the moment the robot's six wheels hit the red dirt. On Jezero's floor, Perseverance is not alone. A four pound or 1.8 kilogram helicopter named Ingenuity landed alongside the rover with the mission of demonstrating that aerial exploration on Mars is possible 
despite the planet's thin atmosphere. Ingenuity completed its five-flight primary mission and is now serving as a scout for Perseverance, having completed a total of 19 Martian sorties to date. Now, as the Perseverance has completed its one-year anniversary, NASA released some amazing pictures taken by the rover during its time on the Red Planet. Here are some of the most memorable photos taken by and of the robotic duo over the past year. This is only a small sample as there are literally thousands, more than 200,000 in fact, to choose from. Aren't these amazing? There is even an image of the week as voted on by the public. According to Jim Bell of Arizona State University, the principal investigator for Perseverance Mast Cam Z camera system, when we compare the cameras of Perseverance and Curiosity, some of Perseverance's cameras provide more color and 3D imaging than Curiosity can collect. The letter Z stands for zoom, which is one of the enhancements to Curiosity's high definition mass cam. Spirit, Opportunity, and Curiosity have all captured one megapixel black and white images with their engineering cameras, which aid in navigation and hazard avoidance. Perseverance engineering camera, on the other hand, capture high resolution 20 megapixel color images. Because of their wider field of view, the new cameras can capture the same view in a single snapshot, rather than taking multiple images to be stitched together on the ground. The cameras also reduce motion blur, allowing them to take pictures while the rover is moving. Perseverance imaging scientist Justin Mackay of JPL, the instrument operations team chief, said, The limiting factor in most imaging systems is the telecommunications link. Cameras are capable of acquiring much more data than can be sent back to Earth. According to Space.com, Mastcam Z is one of Perseverance seven science instruments, another known as Sherlock or scanning habitable environments with Raman and luminescence for organics and chemicals, will be the first instrument on Mars to use Raman and fluorescent spectroscopies, techniques familiar to forensic experts. When an ultraviolet light shines over certain carbon-based chemicals, they glow much like material beneath a black light. The glow can help scientists detect chemicals that form in the presence of life. Sherlock will photograph the rocks in studies, then map the chemicals it detects across the images. The rover's SuperCam instrument, an evolution of Curiosity's ChemCam, will zap target rocks with lasers and determine the chemical composition of the resulting vapor. Sherlock, Pixel, and Perseverance's rock drill sit at the end of the rover's 7-foot-long or 2.1-meter robotic arm, which can move with 5 degrees of freedom. Meta, Moxie, and Rimfax are on Perseverance's body, and Mastcam Z and Supercam are on the rover's head-like mast. Smarter rover cameras are helping to reduce the load. On Spirit and Opportunity, photo compression was done using the onboard computer. On Perseverance, as on Curiosity, compression is performed by electronics built into the cameras. Perseverance's data is beamed back to Earth via several spacecraft orbiting Mars. NASA's Mars Odyssey, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO, and MAVEN, or Mars Atmospheric and Volatile Evolution, and the European Space Agency's Trace Gas Orbiter. Since landing on Mars a year ago, NASA's Perseverance rover has traveled more than three kilometers across rocky terrain, capturing the first helicopter flight on the planet and collecting six valuable rock samples. NASA's Perseverance rover has drilled and collected three pairs of rock samples in Jezero Crater on Mars, the first Martian rocks ever intended to be brought back to Earth for scientific analysis. The rover was designed to search for the clues in an ancient delta, where a river that once flowed into the crater deposited sediments and rocks, an environment that could have supported life. But the rover hasn't arrived yet. Instead, Perseverance has spent the year rolling around the crater's floor, marking a slew of surprising discoveries, including the fact that Jezero's floor is made of igneous rocks. 
These formed billions of years ago when molten rock cooled and solidified. Some researchers assumed that the crater floor would be made of sedimentary rock, which formed over time as wind or water deposited layers of sediment. The rover, however, discovered a different history for the landscape. Igneous rocks are significant because scientists can determine the age of the rocks by analyzing the radioactive decay of elements within them. If and when perseverance samples return to Earth, scientists will be able to date rocks from specific locations on Mars' surface for the first time. On February 16th, NASA's Perseverance rover captured a Mars image that may appear alarming. It depicts a typical stretch of dusty and rocky Martian landscape. But there's something odd about it. Something that was unmistakably created by humans. Don't be concerned, it's meant to be there. The cylindrical object is an abrading bit that the rover ditched last July. The Perseverance team tweeted at the time, this particular drill bit was installed before launch to close out the drill and keep the inside protected. To keep my signs clean and clear, I'm leaving it aside before I start to collect samples with new, pristine drill bits. With that, we have come to the end of the video. All the images released by NASA taken by its rover have opened new doors of researchers for the scientists. What do you think about these images? Share with us in the comments section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, have a great day and thank you for watching.